Namaste and good morning everyone. Myself Sri Pratap Singh and today our team is going to present our project on our topic Shloka Search Engine. Let us understand a brief introduction about the project. So our project represents the intersection of ancient wisdom and modern technology, the Shloka Search Engine. In our search engine, user inputs a text and gets related shlokas as output. Now for our methodologies, we have firstly did data collection, then data pre-processing, then build our search engine using cosine similarity model and done sentiment analysis on the slokas and at last create a web application for the same. For our data collection, we had taken Gita data set from Kaggle. This data set contains 700 verses of 18 chapters from Bhagavad Gita. The slokas are in three languages, Hindi, English and Sanskrit. After data collection, we have done data pre-processing where firstly we use NLTK library of Python to remove stop words and if any words ID has null value, then then it also got removed. Secondly, we use word steaming to extract root words from the text, such as if the text is playing, then the extracted word is play. And at last, we convert whole English data set into lowercase. Now, Hari Priyam will explain our search engine model. Over to Hari. So, after pre-processing the data, we extracted the words and converted it into vector form to perform some mathematical operations like cosine similarity. We have used SQL and metrics to import cosine similarity library. It, uh, it finds the most closest shloka related to input given by the user. Finally, we deploy our API, our ML model on Python anywhere and uh, send, uh, created the endpoint. Now over to Tapan. So my name is uh, Tapan and I will be explaining the sentiment analysis model. So first of all, we build the word cloud of our data set. Uh, we displayed a word cloud of our data set, which gives an idea of most used words. So you can, as you can see the image, the most used words are like Arjun, Yoga, Self, Action. So we performed this using the word cloud module provided by Python. We first built a word cloud object using word cloud class and then using the matplotlib module we displayed the image after that we imported the nltk library which is a natural language toolkit library to perform operations on sentences using the nltk library and text blob module we predicted the sentiment of all shlokas so as you can see the uh, we have written the function which takes in the input uh, shloka and using the text blob module it calculates the sentiment so if the sentiment uh, if the sentiment score is greater than 0 it's a positive sentiment and if it's equal to 0 it it is uh, considered as a neutral a neutral shloka neutral sentiment otherwise if the score is less than zero, it is considered a negative sentiment. After this, we added a new attribute, which is our sentiment using the pandas library. And the result will be explained by Rohit. Hi everyone, this is Rohit. Uh, in the result we displayed the result which includes the slokas and their sentiments as you can see that the slokas are processed which make the result more accurate the sentiment of a particular sloka searched on our app and the similar slokas recommended will be displayed which give us an idea of that particular shloka. Over to Soumya Ranjan. For our website, in front end we have used Next.js which uses React framework and for the programming language we have, we have used TypeScript and for API calls we have used Axios package and for backend, the backend is made in Flask framework which uses Python language and it is deployed on Python Anywhere platform. Now let's see a quick demonstration of our website. This is the home page of the website that is 
you, here, here you, you can see a search bar and a search button and a title. Now, let me type a keyword like Krishna. And when I press the search button, it will direct you to the result page. And the default language uh, chosen is Hindi. Here you can see the top five recommended sloka, which, which has the word Krishna in it. Now, if you want to see the slokas in English, just tap the English button and again tap the search button. Now you can see the uh, slokas are given in English language. Now, if you want to see the slokas in Sanskrit, just tap the Sanskrit button and again click the search button. Now you can see the slokas are, are in Sanskrit. Now let's get back to the PPT. From here, my friend Hari Priyam will take over to explain the future works. So, in the near future, we will extract text from images and then our search engine extract text from images using various algorithms of data learning and computer vision like CNN model. And then we display our shlokas related to those texts. So, this is the GitHub repo where we, we have our front end, back end, and ML models deployed. And finally, this is the website link. And uh, at last, this is the data set link uh, taken from Kaggle. So, this is our team and their individual contributions. Thank you for watching.